What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. It's another Monday pack review or pack breakdown. We've got Michael Owen, we've got Dennis Law and we've got Okazaki. I mean, listen, we're going to get into it today on the live stream about talking about the, you know, the issues and stuff like that. But for now, we are going to cover these cards. Dennis Law obviously is somebody that a lot of car a lot of people have been waiting for this card, a big time booster of Dennis Law. Seems to be able to finish from everywhere and is definitely his other cards, including by myself, has been one of the most slept on cards. A lot of people love him as a super sub. Michael Owen, you're going to have with Michael Owen the Saviola slash Romario kind of comparison, I think. We'll have a look at that as well. We'll show you a build um, that a lot of people are probably going to use. And I'm going to show you a couple of hints with this card as well or tips and tricks to get the best out of him. Michael Owen, you know what you're going to be getting out of him. It's a run and gun, but he is a little bit weaker than Romario and Saviola in certain aspects, but stronger in others. And then, of course, you have Okazaki as well from Leicester. This guy was from the 15-16 season, I think, or whatever season they won the league. Um, obviously, now they're after getting promotion again back up. But yeah, he looks like a, a pretty decent player as well. But with all these cards, man, you know, that you're, you know what you're getting in for. It's 150 into a box, as you see here in the contract. Um, I'm just going to hide my screen here because we're going to go over to the player bills quite quickly as well. But these cards, man, you know what you're going to be getting with them. Listen, we ha we will talk about a lot of different stuff in the stream today. Um, but, I mean, people want to see the cards. You know, I literally woke up this morning early um, to do this video. And I had like about 25 to 30 messages on Discord of people asking me to do cards and Twitter and YouTube. So, um, you know, the cards, people are enjoying them. You know, if you're not enjoying them, that is obviously a an issue um, where there needs to be more content coming. But we'll get into that in the stream. But this pack also is included. Saka, Isaac Hoyland, Mbemo, Etze. There's a few others. Mudrik is in here. Timo Werner on 37 levels, but on D4. Andres Pereira is there as well, but it's always going to be about the big time cards, and the three of these cards are quite decent. Raziki was mentioned as well, he was rumored to come, but he actually doesn't. So before we go on, lads, right, I would definitely never recommend anybody spin for any of the special cards that are non booster or non epic. So if you're not spinning this pack, if you're like, oh, I'm going to spin this pack and go super deep for Saka. This is a fairly good Saka card, I'm not going to lie, he's got 26 levels, we'll just take a look at his build here over on DB in a second, right? But just from his actual level 1 with no boost, right, it's a fairly decent card, you know what you're going to be getting, speed, acceleration, balance, dribbling, tight possession, ball control, bit of passing, bit of finishing, very good all-rounder that can play left wing, right wing, left mid, right mid and left back, so you can have a bit of sub-tactics going on there as well, he doesn't have the best player skills, but he doesn't have the worst player skills, there's a lot to like about this card you can throw on flip flap and double touch to get your ball roll you have one touch pass low lofted you can throw on true passing or weighted pass there's also you know you could throw on interception and blocker if you're playing him as a left back to let the animations do a lot of work for you we'll get into that later i don't know whether i'll spin for this pack or not i'm leaning towards maybe not to be honest with you and we'll get into that in a little bit later but yeah it's not a it's not a bad card if you've never had a really good sack of card before um you know it's it's a pretty decent card and we'll have a look at his card in a little bit especially with the manager boosts that you're going to be getting and stuff you can turn this guy into quite a beast to be honest with you um just to kind of give you a quick look that is the card that you could go with there you know and you've got 90 plus in every stat apart from uh tight possession and the rest of his stats are going to be really, really nice as well. But yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend you guys to be spinning for these purple cards at the moment. You know, Etz is pretty decent. We'll have a build of him later on as well. And Hoyland is, is always nice. But it's always going to be about these legend cards, right? So let's start with Okazaki. This guy's got the booster, which is going to be the hard worker. He actually doesn't have that many player skills. But this is exactly how you should use this card. Super sub. This is it. This is exactly where this card comes in as a dummy runner. So he plays similar to like the likes of Thomas Muller. He's going to drift in and drift out of position doesn't run in direct lines is more kind of waiting on the play to develop to then make a run to then stop the run to then go on another run so it's kind of hard to get used to compared to goal poacher or fox in the box any of those which are very linear this guy is kind of you know going all over the place so his, his stats are actually quite decent i was impressed the fact that he's got really high balance and acceleration off the rip even with the booster and when you actually do look at his uh, build here we're not going to spend too much time on this you can pause the video here if you want to take down the builds but it's 11 1 6 12 and 7 starting with shooting and ending with lower body not into aerial strength or defending or anything else it's a fairly decent card i mean his stamina is a bit skewed by the fact that it's you know speed and stamina does stack um, but his speed is quite slow. You don't really need that for dummy runner, to be honest with you, because it's a lot of AI assistance with it. Acceleration, balance is really good. His tight possession. He's not really run and gun. 
even if you go run and gun with him and you take away a bit from the finishing, um, I do feel that you're not going to get that tight possession up into the 90s anyway, so there's no real point. Um, but it's a fairly okay card. I mean, obviously, it's the weaker of the bunch, but it is definitely a good card. We also have Dennis Law. So a lot of people have been saying to me that Dennis Law is one of the best players in the game. His old card, his old big-time card is phenomenal. I have never really used it as much as I would have liked to. I've played a lot of co-op with him. I've played a couple of games as well um, on different profiles and stuff. But I've never actually sat down and played, you know, 50, 60 games with him and got a feel for him like Romario or somebody like that, right? So control off the rip is nice. One-touch passes off the rip is nice. It's a very nice card. I think Dennis Law would be best suited as a super sub, though, boys. Honestly, he's got that acrobatic finish and he's got the one-touch pass and true pass. And you can, you know, have a bit of shots on target with the rising shot, long-range shooting. I would probably put outside curler on him. I would probably put first time, or he has first time shot. I would probably put uh, area superiority on him. He's phenomenal in the air. Um, his heading is really, really nice as well, which you can boost up if you want to go with that route. But this is the build that we've gone for him, right? This is the build that we would probably recommend if you're looking for just a very simple version of Dennis Law to build, right? Now, we've got a couple of points left over here from this, but look at the stats before we actually finalize this build. And of course, you're going to be getting a plus five, which Abby Alonso, to some stats, or a plus two or three, depending on what other manager you're going to be using for the manager boost and the booster boost in this, right? It's not implemented on eFootballDB yet, but this card from the level one, I never build cards taking the manager and their boosters into effect. I'm still working on a video to do that. I'll try and cover it in the live stream later. But this is a very good card. He's got everything that you could possibly want. His finishing is going to be really nice. You can even get his dribbling up a little bit more or else his dexterity up a little bit more if you want to max out his offensive awareness and skyrocket it. It's a very good card. Balance and tight possession lets this card down a little bit, but you are going to be bringing him on for aerial ability. That's kind of where you're at with it. I would definitely recommend to train up his heading. He is really good in the air. A lot of times he's scored against me. It's mostly been from in the air. And then last but not least, we have Mike Lone. So we're going to jump in with the build here before we actually talk about his card in-game. This is the build I think that a lot of people are going to go with, which you need to go very heavy with the dribbling, a 14 into dribbling, 10 into dexterity, and then also 5 into shooting because you're going to be getting the boost with the shooting as well, right? Now, the problem with Mike Lone, in my opinion, is that he's missing a couple of key stats to turn him into that really dominant beast and skills. So firstly, he doesn't have double touch or ball roll or any of that. You're going to have to give him the three of those. Flip flap, soul control and ball roll. Soul control will work if you're doing knock on or whatever or cut behind and turn. We'll get into that in a second, right? If you're doing a lot of like kind of meta stuff with this card, he is a really, really big meta player. But there is a bit of, you know, there is a bit of investment of time and skills and uh, GP into this guy if you're trying to transfer a lot of skills to him. He doesn't have one touch pass from the rip either. He has got a, he doesn't have, um, he doesn't have, you know, a really high tight possession or balanced stat. That needs to be worked on a little bit. Now, I definitely think that this is a very good build as well. We saw this build on our Discord. This is kind of what he looks like with, an, a, with a finalized version of Michael Owen with this build. Again, you're going to have that balance at 90, but the tight possession at 86. This is the trade-off that's going to have to happen. If you want his finishing at 90, his ball control at 90, his balance at 90, and his acceleration 100 plus or around 99 plus, you can get more into dribbling. But even at that, we're already, you know, 14, 15 deep into dribbling. You're not going to get that type of possession to 90. You're just not going to be able to get it if you want the rest of the stats into the 90s. If you want your dribbling and type possession to be 90 plus, it's 86 here with this build. You're going to have to withdraw a little bit on speed and stamina or acceleration and balance. Now, personally, for me that's probably what I would do I would be happy enough with his acceleration being probably about 97 98 and speed the same so if you were to take two from speed and maybe two to three from acceleration you could actually get away with this but then you're obviously not going to have the 90 balance so I think Konami you're getting a little bit cuter with how they train up cards that they're not given the finalized versions of these cards that are just going to be not never need to upgrade from them so Mike Lone, I think, is definitely going to be worth looking at compared to Romario. But that is it for me, boys. I'll be back live streaming later. Just a quick video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're going to spin. Let me know if you're going to skip. And I will talk to you in a little bit.